Hi, I'm Joy. Every year at year end, Tesla would release a holiday update that would bring you a lot more functions and features to your Tesla car that literally would make your car like a brand new car again. I received the 2024 holiday update on my 2018 Tesla Model 3 this past week. While there are many new functions and features released in this update, there are three big ones that I personally love and I think that new Tesla owners would appreciate. The first one is the highly anticipated Apple Watch integration with the Tesla app that would enable your Tesla watch as a key card operating your Tesla. Before Tesla released this function, I've actually been using my Apple Watch for the last three or four years to control my Tesla via third-party apps like Stats for Tesla as well as Watch for Tesla app. They have been working really, really well helping me to control my Tesla straight from my Apple Watch, whether it is to lock or unlock the car, checking the state of charge, or to set the HVAC temperature inside my Tesla before I return to my car. But the caveat was I had to open up the Stats app or the Watch for Tesla app on my Apple Watch when I approached the car in order for the car's Bluetooth to connect to my Tesla and then I could automatically open my car door that way. Now there's an official Apple Watch integration with Tesla. This is a highly recommended piece for all the iOS users to have. I know some of you don't have Apple Watch, but hear me out. First of all, I do have a cellular version of the Apple Watch. There have been plenty of times when I would only wear my Apple Watch when I'm out and about. I would actually leave my iPhone at home. This integration is super convenient now because now when I walk up to my Tesla, I no longer have to first open up the Watch for Tesla app or the Stats app in order to open the trunk or to open the car door. I can now just walk up to my Tesla, reach out my hand and open the trunk or open my car door. It's that easy. Also, if you didn't have those third-party Apple Watch Tesla apps and you had your iPhone in your back pocket before, when you walked up to your car, it's very likely that your car would not open. You would actually have to turn around and sort of like butt tap your car in order for the car to sense your phone key's presence in order to open the car door. So having this integration now is completely seamless and it's been a long time coming. I am so happy that Tesla has finally enabled this feature. Setting your Apple Watch up as a key card is super easy. All you have to do is to make sure that you have the Tesla app on your Apple Watch and you go into your Tesla car, follow the instruction on the Tesla Apple Watch app and pair your Apple Watch as a key. After you're done pairing, you will see on your car screen that your Apple Watch is now a key and you can start using it immediately. The second update that I love is that you can now directly access dash cam footage and sentry mode clips straight from the app. You don't have to go into your car, unplug your USB drive, find an adapter, connect this to your phone or bring it back to your computer to view and download your sentry mode clips or dash cam footage. Within this update, you can jump directly to the sentry mode event and see which camera was triggered by the red dot indicated within the Tesla app. Additionally, you can save a 30 second clip straight from the Tesla app. 
which saves you so much time and you can do this remotely without having to be inside your car. However, this function does require premium connectivity subscription. So keep that in mind. The third feature released in the 2024 holiday update that I love is the maintenance summary function. Before I would always forget to keep track of when I did my last tire rotation or when I last changed my air filters. But now I have a place to keep track of when these maintenance were done. It just so happened that I actually scheduled a tire rotation within this week right after I received this update. So I put this to good use. All you have to do is just go to the service menu on your car, go to maintenance, and then tap on tire rotation. This is where you can record the type of tires you have on your Tesla and when you did maintenance on it. It is super, super convenient now. The downside with this feature is that currently you cannot backtrack dates. So let's say that I changed my air filters last year. There is no way for you to go back and enter in that date from last year. So you have to keep your records moving forward. Oh, hey, by the way, if you're curious about how your Tesla's battery is doing, log on to recurrentauto.com and generate a free report. You will see real world range of your battery as well as how the battery is performing compared with other EVs with similar mileage and battery age. Furthermore, you can use this information to negotiate for the best price if you're looking to buy or sell a used Tesla or EV. Recurrent Auto partners with Tesla and Carvana nationwide to provide this report for free. It also works with different dealerships throughout the country to provide this information. So log on to recurrentauto.com today and generate your free report. Now, there are three other features in this holiday release that I find useful and I think you will like them as well. The first one is a seat control menu. There is a dedicated on-screen seat control menu where you can actually move the passenger seat right on the screen instead of leaning over for the controls on the side of the seat. You can also turn on seat heaters in this menu. I find this feature helpful at times when I need to move the passenger seats back and forth, but I don't want to lean over and do it. Now it's all right on the screen. Super convenient. The second useful feature is that during navigation, you can now search along the route for nearby businesses that you can stop by while en route to your destination. This is very useful when you are on a road trip and need to find a coffee shop or a restaurant without having to cancel your active navigation. Lastly, this third new feature in the holiday release, I find it weird that I actually like it. And that is you can now lower the music volume when the car is put in reverse. Don't ask me why, this is super weird. I tried it, but somehow my brain worked better when the volume is automatically lowered while I was focusing on putting the car in reverse and backing it out. It is really, really weird, but I actually love this new feature. Maybe it's something with the cognitive ability of our brain or maybe it's just me that I'm weird. So these are the three major new updates in the 2024 Tesla holiday software update that I personally love and three other useful ones that I also find helpful. What are your new favorite features in this release? Comment in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one and Merry Christmas.